everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing well. It's Sarah here from the Science Center. I have another very fun science experiment for us to try out together today as part of our virtual science station. So if you hang tight, I'm gonna go over materials with you all first, and then we'll go over directions. All right, so my materials for this experiment are pretty simple. I have this recycled container. Anything without a lid will do. Um, I, I just finished some orange juice, so I thought I'd use that one. Um, a balloon that I have stretched over the top part of this container. It can't have a hole in it, so that's important. And then I have two bowls here. This bowl is full of warm water, not boiling, just as warm as you can get it from the tap. And this bowl over here is cold water, as cold as you can get it from the tap. So those are our materials. And I will go over our directions. All right, so to begin, we um, will start with our container, put the balloon over top part of it, make sure it's secure and there are no holes anywhere. Um, and then we'll make a hypothesis. So let's look at the balloon just outside of all of the water. Um, what does it look like? Maybe dry or um, write down words of how it looks and then pause this video to make a hypothesis of what you think the balloon will do in the warm water first. All right, so now that you've made a hypothesis, you could draw your hypothesis, you could write it down. Either way, now that you have a hypothesis, let's take the container and place it in the warm water and watch to see what the balloon does. Well, what happened to the balloon? It looks more inflated to me now. So I'm gonna remove it from the hot water and I'm gonna place it in the cold water and see what happens. It appears to be deflating. Hmm. So maybe pause and write a hypothesis as to why you think this is occurring, why the balloon would be inflating in the warm water versus deflating in the cold water. And then if you would like, try it again. Scientists need to verify that their results are easily um, replicable and that the same thing happens multiple times. It appears the air is still inflating this balloon. Oh. What if I take it out and I don't put it in the cold water, I just leave it in the air? Let's see what happens then. Still slowly losing air. Hmm. So pause this video, um, repeat the experiment if you would like to see if you have the same results time and time again, and then come up with a hypothesis before we talk about the science behind this experiment. So this experiment is one of my favorites for a few different reasons. It uses very simple supplies, which is useful for any experiment, but especially now since we're, for the most part, combined into our homes. I also love that the results that it yields are so visible and easy to see for all, for all ages and for all learners. So the science behind this experiment, to begin, it's very important that that balloon, as I said earlier, doesn't have a hole. And that's so that all of the air in the bottle can stay inside. When we place the bottle into the warm water, the air expands because of the heat, which forces air up into the balloon, allowing it to partially inflate. When we remove it from the warm water and put it in the cold water, that air kind of contracts back down and the balloon deflates. The same thing happens if you leave it just out in the open air. Um, it just takes a little bit longer since the change in temperature isn't that extreme as it is in the bowls. There you have it, everyone. Super simple, fun experiment. I hope you are all well and staying safe. Catch you next time.